Hello and welcome back. Dual spoilers reveal Gwen without a last name has been lying since she suddenly showed up at Bayview Mental Hospital and told fellow psychiatric patient Claire a whopper about hiding out from her abusive boyfriend. She claimed not even to be crazy, but now that we know her better, that's debatable. She has told anyone who will listen to her that she's a skint. She has no money and no place to live, but is she fabricating that as well to manipulate people into feeling sorry for her? It seems like it. We recently wondered if it was possible that Gwen was the one drugging Abigail, and a few days later it shockingly turned out to be true, which is why it's not a stretch for us to wonder about these six characters who might be the reason behind Gwen's wanting to destroy Abigail or Abby and Chad's relationship. Who would bankroll Gwen? It would have to be somebody she knows. Maybe she just needs cash and doesn't mind getting her hands dirty. She is a gold digger. Or perhaps she's related to somebody from Salem who has a score to settle to Damaris. Maybe nobody's been ringing and rolling the nail biter. And just maybe she's just some random person with her own agenda. But we don't think so. This is Salem. Nothing happens randomly. Of course there are still big questions lingering, which we can only assume will be answered in the episodes to come. For example, what possible motivation could Gwen have had to drug Abigail? Is it merely a coincidence that months later Jake would be revealed as Chad's sibling? Or might Gwen, oblivious to the connection, simply have set her gold digging sights on Chad? and pushed Abigail out of the picture. And all these months later, why the heck is Gwen still walking around town with an incriminating vial? One thing's for certain, Gwen should definitely be concerned about the fact that Julie, who is as nosy as she's beloved, has been eyeing her suspiciously. After all, if Gabby would temporarily out of the picture, Julie needs to push someone's buttons. Got a theory as to why Jerry, Gwen wanted Abigail out of the picture? Share it with us in the comments. Then hit the gallery below to read about 10 Salem residents we want back, some of whom like Camilla Banis, Gabby, will soon be doing our bidding. We know from Days of Our Lives spoilers that Gwen is about to become Chad and Abigail's nanny. Mary Poppins? It gives Gwen way to stick around the house, to drug Abigail, and watch over whatever else she wants, and what's often referred to as the House of Usher. It's interesting already that Gwen knows the secret tunnel from the upstairs mansion, down to their rinky-dinky living room. Thanks for watching, goodbye, and see you again.